Hello, some viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to another video, guys. In this video, we're going to discuss how we can connect real mobile using SDK Manager. So this SDK Manager will be helpful for us to initialize how can we connect mobile phone. In the future videos, we'll see the testing also for that. But in this video, we'll see how we can download SDK tools, how we can add the path of the platform tools how we can see whether our device is connected or not. Now guys, you have to navigate to this uh, Android developer.android.com studio page, come to the command line tools only, click on this, I'm using the Windows version, click on this, it will ask you the terms and conditions of the Android command line tools, right? It will ask you that, just scroll it down, uh, read it if you want, each and everything. And once you have completed the reading, just click on, I have agreed, I have read and agreed the above terms and condition. Click on the download Android command line for Windows. So let it download, it will take a few seconds of time or maybe a few minutes based on your internet connection. So now I'm extracting this uh, folder to desktop. I'll click on extract. It will take a second to extract. It will down. It has downloaded the command line tools for Windows. Let it take a few seconds of time. So now you can see the command line tools has now been here. If I open this, there is a bin folder. Inside the bin folder, you should see SDK manager dot back. The other command which you have to follow is this. Go to the SDK manager. The section will be here, command line tools, SDK manager. I'll add this uh, URL, so you don't have to worry about that. Click on SDK manager. It should be this command which you have to run. So in order to get the latest Android version. So this is the Android version history. Let me scroll down. So my phone, I'm using Android 8.1. So for me, it's oatmeal cookie, 8.1, Android Oreo. So the latest version is Android 15 vanilla ice cream. All right, so we are getting up to this, this one and 33. So if you install the latest one also, this is API level. So this is the API which we're talking about. It will install up to the Android 33 API. So Android 33 API will be up to the Android 13th version. So Android 13 version. So any Android version which is below that should definitely work. So let us copy this and let me go back. Let me uh, click on here. Let me use CMD. When you click on CMD, the command prompt should open. Okay. So you can copy. You have to, you are in the application, right? Just paste this one. SDK Manager Platform Tools. Let me click on Enter. This will actually extract everything. So now let me copy this uh, command and paste it here. If I click on Enter, it should start loading the package. That SDK error may have come because of the command line and tools not being replaced. So now it is asking me to download the license agreement. I'll click on Buy. So it will now extract platforms into that folder, which I've created the android.sdk. It will take a few seconds to minutes based on the internet connection. So now it's done. If you, if you see the folder. So if you see this folder, previously it was only the command line tools. So inside that tools were there, inside that bin and all were there. So now we have got platform, platform tools. Uh, take this one and uh, try to add this into the environment variables okay so let me add environment variables here so now let me click on this path so variable for us to see you can click on new you can add the path here and click on okay if you want in the system variables also you can add click on the path here so you can uh, double click it or click on new press it here also so Click on OK. So now the tools have been added. So any mobile phone which you have, try to take that. In the mobile phone section, 
uh, you have to you have to enable the developer options i'll add the video in the top right corner how to enable the phone developer mode so once you are done with that right just open this go to uh, close this command prompt if you want you can open the command prompt again right now check for ad devices right now try for ADB devices. It should now you, you should be able to see the device. So let's start devices is this one. So okay, let me unlock this. So let me run it again. ADB devices. So list of devices attached is this one. So hope you have liked the video, guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you're a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then, guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.